give us an update on Josh Morrissey? Uh, Josh will be out through the month of uh, March, and his window will open sometime in early April. So getting ready for today, with all the moves that were made, what went through your mind as to how you were able to especially uh, go through your forwards? Uh, make as few changes as possible. Uh, also give the new guy a version of more veteran players. I didn't want to move Lowry's line around. Um, so just give him some guys that have spent some time here. Rosler's still a real young guy. We've still got some very young wingers. So give Kevin two of our more veteran wingers here. And when they're on the bench, they can talk their way through the game. How, what do you like, or what do you know about uh, Nathan's game and what, what makes him a good player? Oh, he's got some bite to his game. I've always liked that he's in the, in the, the nights that we've played against him. He's, He's gotten one or two pretty good hits. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that, that he runs around, but he's got some bite. He closes the gap quick. He's kind of a north defender if they'll come into plays to defend instead of give a nice to defend. Uh, so we like that quickness and we like that bite. Uh, when do you expect Bogdan to be? Is this afternoon. Okay. So he's going to be in uh, sometime in the afternoon. What, when your team trades for a guy like Kevin Hayes, what kind of lift does it give your group? I mean, obviously you got a bump with Stassi coming in last year. Yeah, you don't want to, uh, again, he's not an old guy, but a, a veteran player, a guy who's played in the National Hockey League, and it's a player that you're aware of, right? So they know they know about him as a player, and then they kind of look down at their center ice, and it's uh, it's pretty good, pretty strong, and that, that idea uh, have another big man in the middle of the ice makes everybody a little bigger.